religion, we are building it bigger. We are widening the corridors and adding more lanes. We are building a religion, a limited edition. We are now accepting callers for these pendant keychains. The name of the project is the Pantheon of Modern Gods. It's not really meant to be religious or irreligious. It's just sort of meant to be real. The uh, goddess of conformity. Mm -hmm. And um, that's right, it's the god of central banking. My understanding of democracy, there's sort of an art context where where you go into a gallery and it's sort of like maybe um, similar to a religious context where you go in and you're expecting something profound, something interesting, and maybe you're too embarrassed to admit that you don't understand what's going on or whatever. So it's almost like a trick. The same people who wouldn't have listened to the message at a party are in the gallery and and they just give me all this good feedback. <laughs> it's, a, it's a god of double thing. And so it's a little bit ambiguous what's going on. I mean, as a soldier, you know, is he menacing or is he protecting? God of empire. The goddess of eugenics. In yes. a way? Yes, both of them. This one, and, and this is called pre-pandemic air. Covering all these heavy issues with the work, and I need something that's a little lighter. Maybe a god that touches closer to home, where, you know, I'm interested in culture. This is Robert's <laughs> idea of light and fluffy. <laughs> yeah. Well, the depleted uranium yeah. is, um, is in this, this lead container. It might help people to understand what it's like to live in a war zone where radioactive waste is spewed by munitions. Uh, my first um, big stone commission was sort of interesting. I was 21 years old. Architect showed me uh, some blueprints that included like four tractor trailer loads of Renaissance looking carved stone entranceway and that type of thing. And they said, well, could you do things like that? And I said, sure, of course I could. <laughs> I said, well, I'm busy for a couple of days. Uh, I'll come back on you know, Thursday with, um, with an example, like before the internet. And uh, I went to the library. And an arrow. <laughs> so this is the demon of peace. This is the god of the state. Mm -hmm. And then there's the sort of bad sacrifice where you don't own yourself. But what if you wanted someone to talk, and so you were going to crush the testicle of the person's child? Uh -huh. Would that be illegal? And he said, oh no. Well, Jackson Pollock was funded by the CIA. This is the god of distraction. Yeah. yeah the god of the herd. The god of authority. I was so proud of my Thomas Kincaid like painting before I, I cut it into strips.